Hello everyone and welcome back to Kino and Caffeine. My name is Isaac and we're back playing some Attack of the B Team for episode 7, I think? Maybe? No, this is 6, isn't it? This is definitely 6. Okay, so, oh, look at this. this my, I think one of my dragons has grown. Um, I left these guys in this box and I actually uh, put a roof on it, as you can see, because um, I didn't want them flying away when they were fully grown up, but I think that um, it may actually be time to try and get these, one of these guys to be my friend. So let's have a quick look scene here. This wasn't actually what I planned to do. I was going to do some Tinker's Construct stuff while I waited for these guys to grow up, but it looks... Like they've grown up whilst I was faffing around. So, do one of you dragons want a fish? Oh, someone took my fish. I'm not quite sure who, so I'm going to take the roof off. I'm going to get my saddle actually real quick. Because if I don't have my saddle, I can't fly my dragon. So, why would I not have my saddle? You know? You know? Okay, saddle. Oh, good. Right, let's go see if we can find one of these guys. We've got some blood in our uh, Tinker's Construct stuff. And I figured out what was wrong last episode. I'll go through that in a minute when we get to the Tinker's stuff. But um, I got it all working. I had to throw away all the stuff that we made last episode, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay, I think we're going to have to cut most of this down. I think we might actually lose one of these guys. Possibly. I'm not too sure. I think the one that we didn't tame might fly away. Maybe. Again, not too sure. Let's see. Can we put a saddle on one of these guys? Maybe. Let me... Let me... No. No. I'm not too sure which one we got. I kind of wanted the white one, but... It looks to be stuck. Very much so. But they do look... Like they're trying, they're trying to fly away. So let's try... Come on. Saddle up. I think all we have to do is give them a fish. Maybe they want another fish. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Come on. Is that guy gone? Oh, he's out. He's out. Okay, he doesn't seem to be flying away, but I can't get this saddle on him. Let's see if we can get this guy on. They don't sound happy. <laughs> I'll give him that. I don't think... I don't think we've managed to gain their trust. I think they've sort of just like taken the fish and been like, yeah, my fish. I'm not going to talk to you now, though. But it does look like they're not going to leave, so I'm going to leave these guys here for now. And I'll like consult the wiki or something. I'll just do it in a test it out in a separate world. See if I can get to uh, fly one of these in the next couple of episodes. But what I want to get back to is some uh, is some Tinker's Construct stuff. Because uh, we started this last episode. It didn't work. And I kind of want to show you guys what I did. Now, um, someone also suggested that if I kill this guy, do I get to morph into him? Now, I have no idea if I do. But um, I don't know if I should kill him or not. I don't feel, I don't know. Until we start making body parts, until we uh, start like making our own body parts, I don't think we should kill him. So, we'll hold off on that. We'll hold off. It's fine. Right, let's get back to this. So, uh, last episode we made these guys here, the um, the blank patterns and then the tool binding pattern and the uh, tool rod pattern and stuff. And um, I tried using cobblestone to get these um, like parts. Turns out you have to use smooth stone. So you have to actually cook some stone up um, into smooth stone in order to get that to work. So, I think we've got a little bit more cobblestone here. Let's cook some of this up. I think I've already made a pickaxe head somewhere. Where did I throw that guy? Is he in my inventory still? Do, 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 do. It doesn't look like it is, is it over here? I also made one of these again, by the way. I made a casting table, which is just some more um, of these bricks and another faucet and another drain, just so that I could have the um, the basin and the table at the same time, because you'll see in a minute that I'm going to actually need the uh, the table for some stuff. Uh, there it is, stone pickaxe head. So we do actually need, it needs to be stone. So if we go over to here again, I'll just show you real quick. Say we want to make um, a binding, which we're going to need to make. We'd have to throw that with some smooth stone in here, like so. And there we go, we get a stone binding like so. You'll see that it says there, material costs 0 0.5. That means it uses half of the stone, I guess, and then gives you a, a stone shard remainder, which is pretty useful because the uh, the tool rod also uses 0 0.5, and you can actually use the stone shard to make the stone tool rod, which is pretty cool. So it only took us two cobblestone to make all three of these parts. And I think we could probably actually use these to make a stone pickaxe now if we wanted to, which is pretty nice. It's a bit cheaper than making a, a normal in-game one if you want. But uh, that's all we're going to do. What we're going to do is we're going to make some casts. Now, the way that you do this is you first of all going to need some aluminium brass, which I've been uh, smelting up. You can see I've got eight ingots worth. Um, this is just uh, aluminium and copper in, a, in in the smeltery. It'll smelt down into brass. It's three aluminium for every one copper. I put three aluminium ore in there, which should have turned into six aluminium, and then I put two copper in. Um, so apparently it actually like, adds all the ores up and gives you eight in total, which is pretty nice. So if we throw the pickaxe head in and we drain it out, we should it'll f like form around the pickaxe head, and it will give us this nice pickaxe head cast, which is pretty nice. And then if we do the same thing with the tool uh, binding and the tool rod, we can then make ourselves some alumite, I think it was, that we were going to make last episode. 
and uh, we can actually make ourselves a nice Alumite pick that we can use uh, before we go get our uh, cobalt stuff from the nether which we can then use to get like the super bestest mining pickaxe ever so what did we need actually what I'm gonna do real quick is make an ingot cast if you just throw an ingot in here and then make that into a cast you can actually drain stuff out as ingots so because you can see like in here we've got uh, four aluminium brass left after we've done this and we know what no to do with that we don't want to like leave it in there and we can't get anything else out until we got rid of it so if we just throw this ingot cast down we can actually just get aluminium brass ingots that we can then put back into the smeltery anytime we want if we want to make more casts and stuff which is pretty cool um, if we'd have had nine we could have made a block of aluminium brass but we didn't have enough so this is how we have to do it now i'm pretty sure that the recipe is obsidian aluminium and then was it iron i think for uh, the stuff we're after i did go and get some more obsidian between episodes because i've been going for obsidian like non-stop lately. Uh, aluminium, iron, and obsidian. Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm pretty sure we've got all that stuff. Uh, I've been having real trouble finding flipping um, aluminium. It seems to be like nowhere. I think we've still got bl blood in here, which I really don't want. Um, I think if we take this out, we can do this, which will give us, like, congealed blood. Maybe? Do we have enough, or is it just not going to do it? Okay, I don't think we have enough. If you get enough in here, you can get what's called congealed blood, but if you just drain it and then break it, it'll go away. So, uh, that's good for now, because we don't want that stuff. All right, let's go throw some stuff in a chest. We really need to get a sorting system going, guys. This is this is not good. I also got some of these guys, these um, essence berry bushes. We'll get onto these later. These actually like grow essence, and when you harvest them, you get uh, not essence um, experience. And um, when you get enough of them, you start like um, you, they grow, and then when they're fully mature, you can right click and you'll get experience, which is pretty cool, if you ask me. I also got some of these guys. These um, what look like emeralds from Project Red. I think we can use them to make like an emerald pickaxe. I'm uh, I'm pretty sure. Alright, what did we do with our head cast? It's there. Uh, we've got our obsidian, we've got the aluminium, and we've got the iron. We're all good to go. Okay, let's grab this cast again because we don't want to lose that. So, it was, what was it, five aluminium? That seems like a lot. Uh, yeah, five aluminium, two iron, and two obsidian. Okay, so uh, two iron will just be two of these, not four. Two of these guys. Five of this would be three, I guess. And then uh, obsidian, we need two of them. I think it does double, but I'll put it in just for safety. Okay, so that's going to all melt down like that. Again, not too sure how many ingots we get. I think we got six last time, possibly. But uh, if we go along, it does tell us that um, the alumites, or maybe it's not in here, maybe it's in this materials in your book. It tells us that the alumites are useful for uh, mining some cobalt, which I did see quite a fair amount of in the nether, actually. I don't know if they've... Uh, played with the spawns for the cobalt ore as well in the nether, but we saw quite a large amount of it, uh, which is pretty nice. So we can make ourselves a nice um, pickaxe of cobalt, and then we could throw some cool modifiers on it. If we go to the end of this book here, you can modify your, your tools with uh, with different stuff. Like if you throw a diamond on it, it gets 500 extra durability, so it's going to take longer for the thing to break, which is pretty useful, but I don't think we're going to go for that because uh, you'll see a reason why in, the min in a minute. Um, the emerald adds 50% more durability, so if you've already got a tool with a really high durability on, the emerald will make more sense than the diamond. But what you can do is add a diamond, then an emerald, which will add 500 and then double it, which is like even better. Uh, redstone's pretty fast. We're probably adding this to our pick because it increases the mining speed, which is pretty cool. Uh, slime balls are pretty useful. The uh, auto repair, the, not slime balls, the um, moss balls, I think, made from mossy cobblestone. And um, these guys allow you to uh, the sink the your tool will sort of auto repair whilst you're in the sunlight. It's pretty slow, but it's uh, it's useful. You don't you don't like it. It, would, it won't break, which is pretty cool. But uh, I don't think we're gonna go with that either because there's something even better we can do. Um, auto smell is a lava crystal, which I think is like four blades towards four lava buckets and a magma cream. I've never actually made this, but I might actually look into it now because we've got quite a lot of stuff. And it's not that hard for us to get blazers. Look, yeah, um, on it, so it's four um, of whatever these are fire charges. I think four blades towards a bucket of lava. Uh, Lapis is quite good, it adds the fortune, it's, it's all luck here, but it's like um, the fortune enchant. So you've got more chance of getting like more redstone, coal, diamonds, etc. Um, the nether quartz adds sharpness to like a sword, so it's pretty pointless putting it on a pickaxe, although you could, and it would increase the damage of it. Uh, Blaze sets him on fire, and there's a bunch of other ones, there's like loads of them, look at this. The bunch. The one we're going to add, well at least one of the ones we're going to add, is uh, this guy here, the... Uh, leadstone energy cell if we add a leadstone energy cell to it it allows us to like charge our pickaxe our pickaxe will never break it'll just run out of charge so all we have to do is run over to our well when we get a leadstone energy cell we can just throw that into there which is um, a type of storage by the way the leadstone energy cell is uh, a storage block from uh, thermal expansion so is this stuff done what oh we have lava oh okay makes sense i wonder why we're taking so long let's just drop some water there go grab some lava from our little pool down here like so and throw this into here. Okay, that should continue now, I guess. I'm going to grab another bucket just to be safe because it seems to be eating through that quite a bit. 
I imagine stuff like Obsidian probably takes up more lava than other stuff to, to smelt. Let's have a look. Um, I don't think I was right, but I think it worked. Okay, so we've got some aluminium. We're going to get some iron. Then we're going to get some obsidian. Nice. Okay. So, if we just wait for this to finish, <laughs> which is pretty much what we're going to be doing, we should then be able to put our stuff together. But yeah, the lightstone energy cells are a form of storage. And then once we've got... Um, once we have that, we can actually use one of those as a modifier, which will allow it to um, to run on power. So we can just power it up to 400,000 redstone flux, use it for ages, and when it's like almost dead, we can just, or even dead, we can just throw it into the uh, another storage device and it'll just fill it up with juice again, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. This stuff's almost done. We've got six aluminium, one, uh, two iron, and I think this might give us four obsidian. I think it might. And we can always drain out the excess uh, aluminium that we've got. We should have one extra when we're finished. And there we go. So we got... Three Alumite and one Aluminium. So we didn't get as much as I thought, but I think we only need the pickaxe head to be Alumite. And I think actually it only takes one, so I think we can actually do this anyway. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, each thing, this will take one. Um, this thing again will take a half, and the other thing will take another half. So we've only really used two, so there you go. We should have everything it takes to make all this cool stuff. Probably. I don't think I'm going to put many modifiers onto this one, because we don't really need it. And I don't think we'll be using this for that long. So we're going to move on to our cobble one, uh, our cobble, cobalt one pretty soon. So if we go to the tool station, select pickaxe, and throw in our cool pickaxe parts like this, we get ourselves an iron pickaxe with a reinforced two. And now, if we head on over to the nether, we should, if we're lucky, find some cobalt, make it into a pick. So let's find out. I think we might. Let's have a look. Is there any just sort of... Line about, there it is, look at this stuff here. So it's not extremely common, especially in the normal game, but I think they might have messed with the uh, the uh, origin a little bit on this one, I'm not too sure. But uh, I'm going to fly around, I'm going to grab a bunch of cobalt, because it does take a little bit of a while to like fly around, find it, and mine it. And I'll meet you guys back on the surface. Okay, so that actually took a lot less time than I thought it would. I got five uh, cobalt, like, oblocks, and they've smelted down ten cobalt, which is pretty nice. And now, all we need to do is pretty much the same as we did last time. Grab ourselves a cobalt head, like this. We'll do the same as last time, we'll just get a tool binding and what's it call it made out of this as well, because why not? There's quite a bit of it. We didn't go that I didn't go that far away from uh, from the portal. I spent like two minutes in there. Not a lot at all. But there we go, we got that guy. And now if we run over to here, select pickaxe again. I don't know if this just like nicely puts things in the right place or not. No, it doesn't look like it does. But uh, it was close. There we go. We got ourselves a nice pickaxe reinforced made of cobalt. And now we get to modify, which is pretty cool. So let's grab ourselves some redstone, because that's one of the main modifiers I want on there. Because I think it has like a base mining speed of like 12 or 16 or something. I don't think it's in here, is it? It's in here. If we skip on right to the end, we should see. Uh, okay, maybe it's past all this stuff. Yeah, there it is. Base mining speed of 11. 11. Now we can boost this up using some redstone. I'm pretty sure we do it in the tool station like this. Throw this guy in. I'm actually going to uh, come out of here and make these... What are you doing? What are you doing, minion? Let's make some of this into blocks so that it's easier to do. Because you can either do it one by one. I'm in blocks and you'll see why blocks are more useful in a second. But if we do this and we come over here, we can... You've got to go through like this. So you see that gives it 9 out of 150. You see you get three modifiers to start off with, and we've got two remaining. So you can add up to three things to this. So we've got redstone as one of our modifiers. And then I think we're definitely going to have, like, the um, the redstone energy cell as another one. But then I think for the last one, I might just go straight up redstone again, just so that we can get um, super fast speed. And you can actually add um, extra modifiers on. At the If you put a gold block and a diamond in there, you get an extra third modifier, which I think I might do, actually, you know. I think I might, you see the mining speed's up to 15, and now let's do it again, let's go for another one. Why not? You know, we can always pick another one, if we're not happy. Let's do that, and then let's put the last five on like this. And then I'm going to go quickly check if we have enough to make a leadstone energy cell. Did I go over? Oh wow, <laughs> okay, so we're going all the way with this. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, why not? We just got loads of redstone. Mining speed of 22, flipping heck. Can you believe it? Okay, let's quickly turn this redstone into redstone. And this should be the last few. I didn't mean to go over to the third one there, but, you know, why not? I think that's enough. All right, okay, so let's get ourselves a gold block real quick. And a diamond, which I've actually got loads of. I went mining not so long ago and got a bu bunch more diamonds. Um, Like this guy. This guy's still following me, so that's fine. So I think it's pretty much just this. 
Yeah, we got an extra modifier. So I'm going to leave that in there. And now let's see if we have what it takes to make the leadstone energy cell. I think we might do. It's pretty much just lead, um, glass, and a redstone block. Yeah, so if we grab ourselves some glass. I know we have some um, tinker's glass, which I'm not really what we need. Uh, I don't know if we can use tinker's glass, actually. But we've got normal glass in here, I think. Let's see. Can we use tinker's glass? We'll find out. So that, we'll grab some lead. I'm going to throw some of these away. These are the stuff we drained out of the um, smeltery. We've got some obsidian ingots, which is pretty cool. Grab four of those, and that should be all we need. It should be something like this. With these guys around. And this dude in the middle. Oh, it works. There you go. Okay, and then to turn it, I think the, um, the modifier requires the actual cell itself. Maybe. I might be wrong about that, but I don't think I am. Gosh, there are a lot of pages in this book. <laughs> Uh, adding a hardened flux capacitor or let's do an energy cell. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we need not the frame, we need the actual cell. Okay, so we just need some copper and some electrum. Okay, to get electrum, we're gonna have to pulverize some gold and some silver in the pulverizer. We'll turn off the output now so that we don't actually um, smelt it again because what we want is we want to pulverize it. Um, because if you were craft together pulverized gold and pulverized silver, you get electrum. And then we can smelt that up into electrum ingots and it'll be all nice and good. So let's grab these guys. Let's craft these up real quick. I'm pretty sure it's one for one. So one gold, one silver. Yep, it is. And then if we craft that up like that, that should be all good to go. We can turn this back on to uh, normal. And there we go. We got that. And we should be able to just real quick make one of these coils like so. And then, if we have copper on us, which we do not, let's just grab three copper. And finally, kaplunk, red, let's do an energy cell. Awesome. So now, if we head on over to here, throw this guy in. You can see it's now got zero of 400,000 redstone flux, so it's not the greatest because it's actually got no power on at the minute. So what we're going to have to do is make ourselves another let's do an energy cell to start sawing some of the power that we're getting from the um, steam dynamo over here. So where was the rest of those pieces of glass in there? Good stuff. Let's make another one of these, like that. And then if we grab another piece of electrum and three more copper, we should be able to make ourselves a less energy cell. Pretty cool, right? Let's do this, like that, kaboom. And now if we throw this thing, we'll just throw it here for now, because actually we'll throw it around here, so it's not just like sitting somewhere random. Throw it there, and it's getting power. Cool stuff. Now I was, oh, you know what we're gonna need? We're going to need something. We're going to need another machine, actually, before we can harness the power that we've got. We didn't actually really need this let's energy cell, but it's useful to have. What we're going to need is something called the Energetic Infuser, which is this guy here. I'm not too sure how expensive this guy is, which takes another <laughs> let's turn energy cell, uh, machine frame, and some other stuff. So it's not too hard to make, actually. We're just going to need um, a bunch more sand because we actually don't have enough sand to do all this with. So let's go grab some sand real quick. What did I just do with there's something in there? Did I just throw this in a chest. I did. Uh, I got one sand, <laughs> you know, why not? I uh, got two, three, we only need one piece of sand to make this last um, box. I'm going to turn back into bat morph because it's just much nicer than normal, normal morph, <laughs> normal person morph. Let's grab some sand. Actually, um, a top tip that I'll give you in a second, which might not be that useful in this pack because you don't have like quarries and stuff, so we don't have massive amounts of cobblestone. But, um, what you can do is actually throw a cobblestone into the pulverizer, like if I grab some of the cobblestone we've got, which is hiding where? Over in my inventory. No. If you grab some cobblestone, throw this into the pulverizer with your output on, it'll turn this into sand and then st straight up into uh, into glass, which is pretty cool. So we'll throw that in there. We got one, two, three, and four. There we go. That should be all we need. Let's grab some more lead, which we're going to have to get some more of in a minute. Actually, we've got loads in here. Yeah, we do. <laughs> going to say, I thought we had quite a lot of that stuff. So, we'll grab one of these guys, like this. We're going to need one of these guys, which is two more glass, or four more glass even, um, gold and iron. So, four more glass, piece of gold, four pieces of iron. Let's throw these together. I had a couple of people asking me how I get the stuff straight into the um, crafting table. If you've got everything you need to craft it and you just click on the um, not enough items menu, click on the item that you want and then just shift click on the question mark next to it, it'll throw all the stuff into the crafting table for you and all you have to do is just select it. So we got that. We're going to need a reception coil which is gold and two of these which are silver. So one more piece of gold, two more pieces of silver like this. Let's craft this redstone block back into some redstone. You know, we've done all this and I bet we still haven't used like most of our redstone. We've still got a ton of it left. It's just everywhere. Like this. 
Uh, two more copper, I think it was, like so, and I think we're good to go. Cool stuff, right. Now, let's throw this guy down here, just straight up next to this. And what we need to do is configure this so that the left side is outputting, which I think is when it goes bright orange. So now, this thing should have some power, maybe. No. Did I do that wrong? Oh, okay, it's just on a weird, like, angle. So I think we need to turn the back orange, in this case. No? Really? Just turn them all orange. <laughs> Um, that should be working, I think. Oh, apparently, wow, really? Why is it that one? <laughs> okay, so apparently that's the one that um, connects to the energy infuser. And now, if we throw our cobalt pick in there, it'll start gaining power. And as soon as it gets to 400,000 redstone flux, which might actually take a little while, because, well, it's going to take a while. <laughs> Do we have any more coal? Yeah, I've got loads of stuff. Let's throw this into here. And this should... Start going up pretty quickly. So we've got 20,000 right now. So this thing will work at like full speed at the minute, even though it's not fully powered. So we should see a nice... Look at this. Look at this. I'm not even... Look at this. This is great. Definitely going to help a lot more when we're um, mining down in the mines because we should be able to mine ores even faster as well, which is pretty cool. Now, I, it does take longer to mine stuff while you're flying. So I want to see if that actually... If this fast pick reduces that. So you can see how fast we're getting this stuff now. And while we're flying, it takes about... It is faster. It takes about now as long as it took before to mine a normal ore. So it definitely is faster. But now we can just sort of go like this and just power through everything we've got. And this pickle never break. It's on 15,000 redstone flux right now. I wonder how much it takes, like, when you're using it. Let's just give it a quick t test. 40,000? It uses quite a little bit, actually. Not to, It uses quite a bit. But when you've got 400,000 in there, and we're never going to be mining that long, I don't think. So we should be fine. I'm pretty sure, maybe. So I'm going to call it there, guys. Thank you again so much for watching. And if you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit like. And I will see you guys next time. Hopefully between this episode and next, I will go and find out how in the world to tame these dragons and get them to fly. Because it's been like far too many episodes now. We still haven't flown them. So I will definitely try and do that. But yeah, once again, thanks for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.